Yeah, I can confirm that we have the suspect in custody. They're currently interviewing him right now. Uh, the only other information that I have from questions that was asked earlier is uh, we don't have an identification on him yet. We do know he's a white male, adult male, and uh, the gun that was used is described as a long gun. So I don't have the specifics on that, but we do know it was a long gun. Uh, and as we continue to get information, we'll make sure that we Chief, continue to put that out. Motive? There was no gunfire exchange between officers and the suspect. Uh, okay. Since we were able to get here very quickly, and just something for you guys to, to, to know, um, you know, we have uh, a, a unified training on how to respond to active shooters, and that's what made one of the major things that made this a huge success. We can confirm that five uh, have been or are deceased, and uh, we're still working on injuries for you guys to get a good number. Uh, so we're, we're working on that, but it, it's estimated around three. We did recover um, what we thought may have been an explosive device that has been taken care of. We have um, members of the uh, bomb squad on scene. We don't anticipate having any more explosive devices. Uh, I want to acknowledge the tremendous work of our public safety professionals today particularly the Anne Arundel County Police Department, the Annapolis City Police Department, and the Anne Arundel County Sheriff's Office. They were on the scene in about 60 seconds. But beyond that, they went immediately into that building without a moment's hesitation and demonstrated incredible courage.